Hello, welcome everyone. Let us show 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus dot 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 2 plus the n term is equal to n square. Notice we are adding the first odd numbers. If we are adding the first n odd numbers, the sum will be given by n square, i.e. number of terms you add, just square. We are going to show this in four ways. Let's look at the first way. In the first way, uh, we are going to uh, add 1 plus 3 plus 5 all the way dot 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 to the n term. Uh, first, notice that the first term is 1. The common difference you are adding plus 2 plus 2. And then the number of terms you are going to add up to will be the n term. Now, this is an AP. And we know the formula when we want to add an AP of n terms. The number of terms will be n divided by 2. First term is 2. Sorry, first term is 1. And then twice the first term plus the number of terms minus 1 times the common difference, which is uh, 2. 2 and then 2 and minus 2 cancel, you get 2n. Here you get 2n, and then 2 and 2 cancel, you get n squared. So we, we are able to show that when we add the first n terms, n odd terms, the first n odd terms, the sum is equal to the number of odd terms that you added. In this case, is n, therefore it will be n squared. Let's look at the second. In the second way, we need to figure out, we are going to add n terms. We want to figure out the value of the n term. The n term value, see here, first term value is 1, second term value is 3, third term value is 5. The n term, we want to find the value of that. That value is given by the first term plus n minus 1, the common difference 2, with 2n, uh, 1 minus 2 is minus 1. So the value on the n term is 2n minus 1. Now we have 1 plus 3 plus 5 all the way to plus 2 and minus 1. Now we're going to use the Gauss a technique. It will be S equal to sum it in the ascending order. And then another S sum it in the descending order. They should produce us the same sum. And Gauss, when he was 10 years old, he noticed this, that if we were to add this vertically, it will be 1 plus 2 and minus 1, you get 2 n. 3 plus 2n minus 3, you get 2n. 2n minus 1 plus 1 into n. So how many 2n are there? They are n 2n. And we also have to add this way here, 2s. So 2s is equal to n 2n. 2 and 2 cancel, you get s equal to n squared. So by using the Gauss uh, technique, uh, we are able to get the uh, sum of the first n odd numbers is n squared. Gauss, uh, he, he didn't do this. He, he did, what he did was, as a 9 or 10 year old boy, the teacher gave him this problem. Please add 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 to 100. Before the teacher finished the question, he was able to produce the sum of 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 all the way to 100 as the sum is 5050. Five, so he's kind of a smart kid. Not only that, Gauss also have many uh, names under his belt. For example, the Bell, uh, the Bell distribution or the Gaussian distribution. Now let's look at the third way. The third way, the third way we're going to use is 1 plus 3 plus 5 all the way to plus 2. And we're going to use the formula. The formula when we have uh, an AP with first term 1 and the number of terms we're, we're going to add is N and if we know the value of the last term the sum is given by number of terms divided by 2 first term 1 plus the value of the last term 2N minus 1 1 and minus 1 cancel you get 2N so 2 and 2 cancel you get N so N square 2 and 2 cancel you get N times N, N square so this will also get you there the fourth way we are going to give you is the visual way so we are going to add 1 plus 3 plus 5 all the way to the n term. So we're going to add the first n odd numbers. So we're going to represent this by using a square. Uh, 1, 1 square, 3, this way, 
five one two three four five we're going to add that way so uh, the uh, the end term will be same thing if you follow this you know l l l now first uh, one is this one two three and then the n one right there'll be the n one it will be the l this is there are n rows how about column if we will consider this way one three five and then this will be the end term so it'll be the first one two three and then the end term so we have n row and column so n row and column you get a uh, number of square inside this n row and column will be n square done thank you for watching hope video is informative helpful before you go make sure you subscribe share comment and don't forget to hit or smash the like button see you